This one's from Crescent, and it's the Apex E Shock Guard. On the left, it's a ceiling fan and light installation kit with a quarter isolated bit holder. It's impact rated, and it says that it can insulate all bits up to 1,000 volts. Um, it comes with three pigtails, three wire nuts, and four bits. On the right, uh, they're calling this one a socket isolator, a quarter inch socket isolator, and it's impact rated, and it says that it insulates all sockets up to 1,000 volts. Pretty cool. Looking closely at uh, the isolated bit holder, it's uh, there's a Crescent branding, and there's the 1,000 volt stamping. And if we look over here, there's some lettering. It's, it's a model number, a UL listing, and an IEC code. Uh, over here, there's a magnetic bit holder, and on the tail here, this one's for your impact gun. So you got that on your impact gun and you grab one of your uh, provided bits from Crescent or any other bits that you would have laying around. And uh, now your your equipment is uh, protected from, you know, in case of an accidental, uh, if somebody were to accidentally turn on the power or, um, you know, get through that lockout tag out or uh, possibly even turn on that light switch you know accidents do happen in the workplace um so they they have this to prevent uh, those accidents from you know occurring um so you know i bet you're thinking well if i wanted to reach i could you know get a socket extent uh, uh not a socket but a uh, drill bit extension and i could remove this and Put it in here, put that back on my drill, and you know this, since this is so long, there's uh, room for error. Uh, say the power for whatever reason were to come back on, you know, you, you might, you might arc things, or you know, you might, you might mess up your equipment and you know, you could, you could get hurt. Um, so I, I bet you're thinking, well, if you, if you want to be the smart ass and you know, get this and put the bit here and put that on the back here and lock this to your to your impact. You say, haha, uh now now the shaft is uh insulated. Well not quite. This shaft isn't really insulated. There there's uh there's no uh ins I haven't seen one of these uh that's insulated yet, uh but you know, there's there's things that can happen that you know you, you you may not want to happen. Like you know, this is this is magnetic here, so you know since it's not locked in place, it can even though it's it holds on there pretty good. Well, if it comes off, it could fall into some pretty dangerous equipment, and somebody may get hurt, and you might regret it. So be careful when you're using this thing. Um, as for as for the isolated socket or socket isolator, um, there's the 1,000 volt uh, stamping there. There is the Apex branding, and again, model number, UL listing, ICE code, and the tail end is where you would put your socket. So if you want to look for a socket, I'm going to grab a 7 16 and just put it on my isolator. And uh, I'll get a, a socket adapter and just put it on my impact. And now, um, you know. Potentially, to to some to some degree, uh, there's protection, uh, and that protection would be to protect my equipment. Um, I'd I'd be careful with this, and uh, I would not attempt to you know use this with the with the power on. 
um, just because I, I I don't think that this is a this is exactly a a one hundred percent uh safe way to work with the power on um you there, there's a there's extensions you know so don't there's extensions that are insulated and there's sockets that are insulated so you know even doing this and thinking that you're safe um it's it's not really it's it's not really safe and it's not to say that the current's going to get past this it's it's to say that you know we can we can hold on to this or wires can get in the way here and arc things out so this is not the uh proper way um but if you if you were uh to be working with this with the power off i'd say that this is a method to prevent uh you know work in the uh in the location that you're working on uh with the power off and uh if if in case the power were to be turned back on then um you would have some protection so be careful when you know thinking about wanting to do this here you get a ratchet and you want to do this um yeah you you could do that uh but it's not a it's not the right way there's a there's a ratchet that's fully insulated for these kinds of situations when working on live power so just watch out guys uh be safe and i hope you like this video feel free to comment and subscribe so i can keep making more content thanks for watching and until next time